Hey, it's Jackie, and welcome back for this wearable doll eye slash anime eye makeup tutorial with a fall color palette using the best of K-Beauty. While anime eyes are not specifically Korean, beauty trends go global, and I've partnered with Olive Young Global from South Korea to show some of my favorite K-Beauty products. This look can be great for back to school, especially if you tone it down, or maybe you're just looking to update your makeup collection with some super cute products. And if that's the case, then you should definitely check out the September Big Bang sale starting August 31st to September 6th. For more information about the free gifts you can get for your first time purchase, like the BioHeal Bow Collagen Stick, 24 hour special deals and app only deals for an extra 30% off, check out the description box of this video to be in the know. You can use my code Jackie2023 for a discount. Let's get started. First, let's do some skin prep, the Peach Skin Fitting Base from Espar. This has a water gel texture that makes makeup really cling to it. This has SPF 50 plus, it's a peachy complexion base with vitamin C and peach blossom extract. Great for acne prone skin or scarring. You can see I have some dark marks here and it is a brightening product, but it also looks great underneath foundation. So it just gives you a little bit more coverage and that brightening effect. Here I'm using the Too Cool For School Fixing Nude Cushion. Cushion foundations are amazing. And to best apply this product, stamp on the cheeks, chin and forehead. And then instead of tapping, Push, and this adheres gently to the skin. This looks so good and the marks, they're gone. And a mini cushion for on the go. This one is so perfect for back to school. This concealer palette looked really interesting. This is by a brand called Dear A and it's a vegan beauty brand. I went with CO3 for acne prone, redness, and a yellow undertone. Oh my gosh, it's super brightening. A little goes a long way here. I used a bit too much, but let's blend. Honestly, this is great for super pale skin because it's hard to find a concealer that will brighten, but look at this. To tone this down a little bit, bringing back my skin tone after it's corrected with the concealer shade. Trust the process, that looks nice. Setting with quite a bit of powder. For brows, we have another Too Cool For School product. This is the brow pencil in natural brown. It's so smooth, quick and easy, smudge proof, and helps with creating a natural brow look. Bringing the head of the brow up and just defining the very top of the tail and brushing up. One of my favorite brands, Junk Se Moule, comes with a shader brush. On the far left, the toffee shade. Usually I create a stronger jawline, but here I'm gonna keep it really soft and then a point to your chin. Mute shade for blending. I love the brush that it comes with. It's so soft, but I am gonna switch it up for the more detailed nose contour. I'm taking the coolest tone through the nose, cheating my bridge a little bit smaller. And check out this diagram for a nose contour. It's from Pinterest. I love these types of diagrams and really wanna make my own. This is a Philly Millie eyebrow brush, but it works great for the nose contour. Done for the face makeup for now. Love this product. I think it's one of my all time faves. Gotta do the eye makeup. And I've seen a lot of mermaid core looks with tons of glitter. And I already did cover that in another tutorial. So this time around, I wanted to make it perfect for fall. Here are two Amuse eye color palettes. I'm gonna go with this one. So cute. I picked the Juicy Peach, bunch of warm shades and I'm gonna use them really subtly. This is also a vegan palette and it's great to use for beginners. Creating an exaggerated crease with this concealer again, it's super bright. Rounded shape, halfway, and then we're gonna blend in halfway to the lid. Philly Millie blending brush for this step. Setting the concealer with the lightest shade in the palette. Brightest peach shade on the under brush. First outline the concealer in a sharp rounded line. From where the middle of your eye starts in a rounded shape. Peach 
placed onto the lid and faded upwards. The Philly Millie Eye Brush Pro Collection comes with five essential brushes for eye makeup. You can easily follow the order from one to five for base, point, liner, blending, and under eyes. Still want some of that peach present by the lashes. And I like creating the smiling eye with my brow pencil. Brighten the waterline on the outer corner. These Philly Millie brushes are great for detail and they do come with this cute little case. So I'm gonna put them back in. And there are so many great TikTok tutorials on how to quickly do eyeshadow looks like this, but hopefully long form tutorials are helpful as well. And let's move on to eyeliner. Let's tight line with the B Smudge Out Detail Liner. So I just smudged where I want the lashes to start, giving myself a guide. I should pop in contacts before I do liquid liner just because it makes life easier, but these ones are not circle lenses, so they're not gonna do a huge difference. My all-time favorite liquid liner, this is in the brown shade. Lily by Red AM9 to PM9 at Survival Pen Liner. This is in like all my tutorials. Leaving a bit of space, I've created a winged out liner, and if it's not quite sharp enough, just take your nail. And we're not gonna line all the way through. You wanna connect it right here. And the inner corner is gonna be a sharp point too. Creating bottom lashes with little strokes and then meeting two strokes to a point. To make this more school friendly, you might wanna just do one or two bottom lashes, but if you wanna go for like a bold TikTok moment, this is pretty fun. J Curling Mascara, this comes in a two pack and this is the volume and curl formula. Here's one coat of mascara. Look at these lashes. Oops, I don't think I said the brand name. This is from Fui. Okay, this mascara is amazing. Which one was it again? The volume and curl. Definitely gave length as well. I've grouped together where I already created that faux lash. It's definitely reading like manga eyes, but I am gonna go with bolder lashes. But first let's add the blush and the lip to see how it looks all together. Etude Heart Pop Blusher in Super Sunset. I'm using a brush, you could use a puff as well. Tap around the cheek area as you're smiling. I'm going a bit higher up near my eye. I'm actually using quite a bit of this. I want it to be super pigmented before there wasn't too much color going on. And this helps bring out the peach in the eye. I'm obsessed with this highlighter. I wanted to show you because I love mermaids and anything nautical. And look at the little seashell, taking the shell shade, adding to the inner corner, tip the nose. Here's the packaging of one I haven't opened yet. Let's see these shades. Ooh. This hair is slightly inspired by the Barbie movie. I just did Barbie hairstyles if you wanna check that out. And for the lips, we're gonna use the Vanilla Co. Smudging Lip Pencil. I picked up two shades. I'm gonna go more with the peachy one. If you wanna go with less of a lip line, you can just smudge through the center of your lips. Let me know what you think of this lip look. I'm very used to overlining my lips, so I'm gonna see what that looks like still using this product. It smoothly adheres without emphasizing any dryness or dead skin for a blurred smudging effect. This is so pretty and bright, but I'm gonna bring back in the eyeshadow palette and just try to mute out the lip color a little bit, make it a bit darker to match this sweater. See how this goes. Just trimmed up the bangs and I have one hair product that I'm gonna spray into my pony. Healing Birds Ultra Protein No Wash Ample Treatment. Mmm, it smells fruity. On the Olive Young site, a lot of the products come with two, which is really convenient. So after I'm done with this, I already have a backup in my cupboard. So if you find something you like, there's a lot of two-in-ones that you can purchase.
Just for fun, I'm gonna pop on some very bold anime inspired lashes. Let me know what you think if you prefer this look without lashes or with lashes. Comment down below and I hope you enjoyed seeing the Best of K Beauty with Olive Young. It's a super trustworthy site and there are physical Olive Young stores all over Seoul. So basically like in Canada where you'd see Shoppers Drug Mart or in the US CVS, it's the same thing but over in South Korea. Last year I was in Seoul over the holidays and I went to the Olive Young Beauty Awards and that was kind of my first introduction to amazing K-beauty products. So thank you to Olive Young and if you do want to place an order, there is free shipping when you spend over $60 US and Olive Young has 3-7 to seven day express delivery worldwide. We've covered the makeup but I did want to share how I take all of this makeup off. This is a new holy grail product for me. This is the Numbuzzin Pore and Makeup Cleansing Balm with green tea and charcoal. Comes with these adorable bunny ears, so that's a plus. And I've tried so many traditional cleansing balms. I'm glad that I'm done my last one. I'm applying for 60 seconds and really rubbing in and this gets off all the makeup. And a lot of the balms are made for dry skin and this one is great for acne prone skin. Keeping the skin bright with the Round Lab Birch Juice Moisturizing Pack Double. Wipe your face along the skin texture. Put the pads on concerned areas for three to five minutes and this will be super calming and give a lot of hydration. Finally applying the Dr. Different Vitalift A Fortnite Treatment Cream. Apply a moderate amount before sleeping, really let that absorb. You've got to let me know in the comments if there's any products that really stood out to you in this video because there are so many cute ones and there is the big bang sale going on right now so there's no better time to pick up some k-beauty i will have everything listed down below from the products to more information about the sale my recommendations and i hope that this video was helpful my code is jackie 2023 and if you want to keep on watching you might like these barbie hairstyles because this one is kind of inspired by barbie or maybe the latte makeup look or strawberry makeup girl trend.